What up guys, Gangs Pranks here, bringing you the weekly wrestling review for December 15th. Welcome to the show, if you're new to this show, this is where we talk everything about professional wrestling, from news reviews to predictions, we talk about it also if you're a fan of professional wrestling, welcome to the show. On today's show we got reviews for Final Resolution, Raw, SmackDown, Impact, Ring of Honor, NXT, and predictions for Ring of Honor, Final Battle, and um, TLC, TLC. And, uh, and a little bit of wrestling news. So, busy, busy show. Uh, welcome back, like I said. Weekly, back to weekly, not bi-weekly. And uh, I'm a little tired, so if I fuck... I'm prob I might fuck something up when I'm talking, because I'm pretty tired right now. I'm low on the sleep bank. And, um, yeah, so I apologize if I miss... Uh, uh, if I say something wrong or whatever. Do something stupid. That That's basically... Hopefully that covers it. Um, so let's start out with Final Resolution. Um, Final Resolution was actually a pretty good pay-per-view. Nothing too bad was on the pay-per-view. Overall, it was actually pretty good to good. And uh, so let's quickly go through it. It starts out with James Storm taking on Kazarian. Pretty good match. James Storm ended up picking up the victory. Uh, next, we got Kenny King versus RVD for the X Division title. Uh, this was pretty good. RVD won. It was not as good as I thought it was going to be. I, I held this match to pretty high standards, and um, they didn't really deliver, in my opinion. So, that was that. Uh, next, we got Chavo and Hernandez taking on Joey Ryan and Matt Morgan for the TNA Tag Team titles. Pretty good match. Chavo and Hernandez win by DQ after Matt Morgan pulls the referee out. Uh, so, the ref called for the bell. Uh, so, this definitely opens up, leaves the... Leaves it open for another match down the line since there was never a definitive winner. So, that's interesting. I think Joey Ryan and Matt Morgan are definitely going to win next time they have this match. Definitely going to... Joey Ryan and Morgan are going to take it, so... Uh, next, we got Austin Aries taking on Bully Ray. Good match. Aries wins. A uh, little bit of commotion near the end. Brooke Hogan came out, got involved. And then uh, Hulkster got involved, allowing uh, Ares to low blow Bully Ray. But he ended up taking the victory, so that's all good. Um, next, we got Mickey James taking on Tara for the Knockouts title match. Pretty good match. Tara wins. Um, next, we got Aces and Eights taking on Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, Garrett Bischoff, and Wes Briscoe. Pretty good match. Angle, Joe, Garrett, and Wes win. Um, next, we got Christopher Daniels versus AJ Styles. Really good match. You know, I knew they were going to have a good match. I just hate the storyline. That's just me. Um, anyways, really good match. Daniels wins. Uh, we'll talk more about AJ on Impact because they seem to be going in a completely different direction. Well, the direction we'll talk about on Impact, but and uh, I think it's interesting. Kind of what I hope for, just, you know, in the wrong direction. Uh, anyways, last but not least, Robert Roode will be t took on J uh, Jeff Hardy for the TNA World Title. Really good match. Hardy wins and retains his title after the match. Hardy and it, or uh, aces and eights attack Jeff Hardy and Robert Roode. Uh, they laid out both of them. So overall, pretty good show. Um, I would wreck a. I would. Mm, uh, I don't know if I'd recommend the show. It was pretty good. Um, over, I'd probably recommend a couple couple matches. The two main events, AJ and Daniels and Robert Roode and Jeff Hardy. And, uh, and Aries and Bully Ray. That was pretty good, too. Uh, overall, like, I would say maybe you can skip on this one. Maybe if you can catch it online or something. But, uh, overall, those two matches, I'd say check them out. Well, three matches. So, um, next we got Raw. Let me just scroll down here. Uh, so it starts out with Dolph Ziggler. He's in the ring on a ladder. Says he's going to beat Cena at TLC to ca and then cash in his money in the bank. Uh, Sheamus comes out and says Ziggler will, will have to face him because it's going to be Big Show. Uh, Big Show comes out and him and Sheamus go back and forth. And it ends with Sheamus pushing Ziggler off a ladder. Uh, first match, R-Truth taking on Wade Barrett. Okay match, R-Truth wins. Uh, next, we got a four-way elimination match. I was pretty hyped up when they announced this on Raw. I'm like, wow, I love these kind of tag team matches. I'm pumped. So it was the Usos versus Road Scholars versus Primetime Players versus Epcom Primo. Four-way elimination match. 
Um, it, this was pretty good. Road Scholars won. I wish they gave it a lot more time. Uh, they only gave it like eight minutes. I was hoping for at least like 15. Because uh, now with Raw going three hours, there's a lot longer matches. I was hoping this would be a longer match. This didn't end up being a longer match, but whatever. Like the primetime players, it went to commercial break and the primetime primetime players got eliminated and I'm like oh man like I wanted to see them in there and uh yeah, it was whatever um next we got Eve versus Alicia Fox this was okay Eve won um next we got CM Punk and Paul Heyman come out and talk about Ryback attacking him last week and injuring Punk uh then he talks a little bit about about the rock and says that he'll be ready for him at the Royal Rumble hopefully hopefully Punk's uh knee injury heals up and uh, he can take on The Rock because that's a huge money match if Punk can't make it there with his injury. All this build up for nothing. So hopefully he uh, he can wrestle that match. Uh, next we got Sheamus versus Dolph Ziggler. Good match. Sheamus wins by DQ after Ziggler hits him with the chair. Um, next we got Alberto Del Rio versus Zack Ryder. Pretty good match. Del Rio ended up taking that victory. Um, next we got AJ Lee taking on Vicky Guerrero. Okay match, Vicky wins. Uh, Brad Maddox was the ref and screwed AJ out of the match. After the match, she just goes apeshit and destroys a bunch of shit. Uh, next we got Kofi Kingston taking on Antonio Cesaro. Pretty good match, Cesaro wins. I like what they're doing with Cesaro. You know, they're putting him in uh, higher profile matches. Uh, on SmackDown, he took on Sheamus. You know, he's taking on Kofi, who's the IC champion. So, uh, hopefully one day we'll see Cesaro as a main eventer. I think that'd be fucking awesome. Actually, I don't know if he'd ever make it to the main event. I think he could. Like, I think he would be a top heel. Um, like, the position he's in now, I think that's the position that he would be in for a long time. Um, but I would definitely love to see Antonio Cesaro touch the main event so, uh, sometime soon. Hopefully by next year, maybe he'll be a top contender. Uh, like in a Money in the Bank or something. Um, next we got Miz comes out for Miz TV. His guests are Road Scholars. Uh, Miz tries to turn Cody on Sando, but Cody doesn't fall for it, and uh, Miz just makes fun of him. The end. Very. Po this was pretty pointless. Like, and unless they're setting up for a Cody Sando breakup, which is like already like they haven't been teaming for too long. And you already want to break them up. It seems like they're already planting the seed for that. Which I think. I don't like it. I mean I think Damian Sando is better suited as a singles wrestler. But I really like this team. So I, I'd like to see it play out for a little bit longer. Uh, and not end right away. And uh, anyways last but not least. John Cena taking on Big Show. Good match. Cena wins by DQ after the Shield attacks him. Uh, Team Hell No comes out, Ziggler, Big Show, Sheamus, and Ryback all get involved and uh, just ends with a huge brawl. Um, next we got NXT. Uh, first match, Paige versus Sasha Banks. This is okay, Page one. Uh, next we got Oliver Gray versus some guy. Uh, this was another one of Bray Wyatt's uh, associates. It wasn't Luke Harper. Uh, this was some other guy with a beard. He must have a fascination with guys in the beard. In a beard, like he goes to the wilderness, finds these lumberjacks, and is like, "Hey, yeah, I, I got a proposition for you." And like, I don't know. But anyways, that guy won, and uh, and yeah, there's nothing much else to say about him. Uh, next, we got D Dusty Rhodes comes out and says there's no bounty on Biggie Langston anymore. Uh, Camacho comes out and says he needs the money, so the bounty stays on Langston. And uh, Biggie Langston comes out and Dusty makes a match for next week. I think Dusty made a pretty racist remark because, like, he was talking about something and then the TV, it cut. It cut to something. And then it came back, and everyone was booing Dusty, and it was like, what did he say? So I think he might have said something racist, or I don't know, something that would offend the audience. But um, that was kind of weird. And last but not least, Seth Rollins taking on Jinder Mahal. NXT title match, a really good match. Rollins wins after the match. Corey Graves comes out and starts clapping for Rollins. 
so overall, they gave this match a lot of time. It's like 20 minutes or close to it. And uh, good back and forth match. I definitely recommend checking this match out. And with the whole Corey Graves thing, I'm personally not a big fan of the look in the jeans and the suspenders. I think if he would get rid of that, I would like him a lot more. But uh, they're setting up this next, this is the next feud, Seth Rollins versus Corey Graves, which I think there's some other people that could rather, that I would rather see, like maybe a Leo Kruger, a Cassius Ono for sure, um, Bo Dallas, who else? Uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of people, like Corey Graves, he doesn't, to, it just it's, it came out of nowhere, at least to me. Like there's so many other people, but you know that now that Seth Rollins is on uh, on the main roster, is he gonna have to drop his NXT title? That's another thing. That's probably gonna happen. Again, I hope it's not to Corey Graves. Just get rid of the fucking jeans and the suspenders. You look fucking retarded. That's just me. That that's just me though. But um, yeah, just. Get rid of those stupid suspenders. They're fuck off. They're so retarded. I can't take him serious. And now he's supposed to be like the world champion. If he wins, he's... No. No, 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 no. Um, so next we got NXT... Or not NXT. Impact. Uh, it starts out Bobby Roode comes out, calls out Aces and Eights. Uh, Aces come out and say they got a better deal. That's why they turned on him. Uh, Jeff Hardy and James Storm come out, clear the ring of the Aces. Uh, first match is Madison Rain versus Velvet Sky. Pretty good match. Velvet wins. Uh, next, we got Robbie Eve and Rob Terry taking on Wes Briscoe and Garrett Bischoff. Pretty good match. Wes and Garrett win. Uh, it seems like they might be teaming. They might do some stuff in the tag division. I'm surprised the Aces don't have a little tag team going on. Try and get the belts. Because I totally don't even follow the Aces storyline anymore. Like, first... They wanted to get in TNA, and now that they're in TNA, what do they want now? Like, they just want to take everyone out, I guess. Like, I'm not really following the storyline anymore. It's just, it doesn't appeal to me anymore. I mean, at first, it's like, holy shit, who are these guys? I'm still wondering that, but it's just not the same. It just, it just seems like mindless acts of violence. That's, that's just what it is. And uh, after the match... Aces attack Kurt Angle, of course. Take out Eric Young. Fucking, they took out everybody. It's uh, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Uh, what else? Next, we got James Storm and Jeff Hardy taking on Aces and Eights. Good match. Hardy and Storm win. After the match, Devon reveals that Austin Aries paid the Aces to attack Hardy. Uh, next, we got AJ Styles. AJ Styles comes out, cuts a heelish promo. He pretty much says that he's going to do what's best for him now, you know? He's going to look out for him and only him. So, AJ Styles, fed up with all the bullshit he's been through the past couple months. Finally, he's at his breaking point. He's at his wit's end. And, um... Is, is AJ going to turn heel? I kind of hope so. I, I think this is a good step. Again, what I would have wanted to see is him say, you know what, I've I've lost my head a little bit. I want to get back on track. I want to go back to my roots and, you know, compete in the X Division. That's what I want. That's what I really want to see that. I think it could be really good. And then you have a heel AJ Styles taking on a babyface RVD. Set that up for lockdown. You've got a fucking huge match on your hands. But that's just me. Anyway, so heal AJ Styles. I don't know what he's going to do, to be honest. Because. Um, so he's definitely not going to feud with Daniels and Kazarian anymore. So it's like, who's he going to feud with? I'm thinking maybe Mr. Anderson. Maybe Mr. Anderson will come back. And, um, and feud with him. But there's really like no one for him to feud with. Maybe there is. Let me know in the comments. Because I, I can't really see who he's going to feud with. Uh, just Maybe James Storm. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, next we got Kenny King versus RVD. Pretty good match. Kenny wins. Um, 
he also he used the the ropes for a pin leverage. So I don't know if Kenny is going to be a heel now. They're just going to turn all their baby baby faces into heels. Terrible idea. Cause then you're not going to have any baby faces, and everyone's going to be a bad guy. It's going to be the NWO all over again. Um. Next, you got Bully Ray taking on Jesse. Pretty good match. Bully wins. Bully beat the fuck out of Jesse. He fucking chopped him so hard. You know those fucking things? Those scanners where you have to put your hand on and, like, it scans it and then it'll open up whatever. Um, you could pretty much, like, cut a little piece of skin from Jesse's chest and use that as the handprints. And I bet it would work. That's how hard he hit him. Bully Ray just chopped the shit out of him. It was hilarious. I felt bad, but I'm like, that's hilarious. Beat the shit out of him. Uh, so anyways, yeah, that was that. And last but not least, Austin Aries comes out and so, talks about why he hired the Aces and Aces to attack Hardy. You know, he wants his world title back. Uh, Hardy comes out, challenges Aries to a match next week for the world title, and then attacks him. Uh, so that'll be a good match next week. Uh, next we got SmackDown starts out with Big Show taking on R Truth. Pretty good match. Big Show wins. Um, next we got Road Scholars versus the Usos. Pretty good match. Road Scholars win. Um, next we got Big Show and David Otunga come out and say Sheamus bumped into Big Show, and Sheamus will not have to defend his title at TLC. Uh, Booker says that Antonio Cesaro plus Sheamus, so it will happen. Uh, Sheamus comes out with a sh chair and he's like, if it's not going to happen, then I'm just going to beat the shit out of you. And then Big Show's like, you know what? I'm going to have the match. And uh, he bailed and Sheamus took out Otunga. Uh, next we got Aksana versus Caitlyn. Okay match, Caitlyn wins. Next we got The Miz comes out for some more Miz TV. He needs to stop having so many Miz TVs. Like, you got to stop, bro. And th these corny jokes. Um, like, he's always making, like, these witty remarks. It's like, stop, stop. They're terrible. Stop. Anyways, his guests were Team Hell No. Uh, Brian and Kane said they're going to kick the Shield's ass at TLC. Uh, Shield appears, but Ryback comes out and they scare him away. Next, we got Tyson Kidd, Justin Gabriel, Hornswoggle, and Great Khali taking on the primetime players and Epco Primo in an eight-man tag. Uh, this was okay. Tyson, Kali, Hornswoggle, and Gabriel win. And next we got Kofi Kingston versus Alberto Del Rio. A good match. Kofi wins. And the main event was Antonio Cesaro taking on Sheamus. Good match. Cesaro wins by countout. So that was an okay smackdown. Uh, next we got Ring of Honor TV. It starts out with the Bravados taking on Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Pretty good match. Uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly win. Um, next we got Jay Lethal versus Chris Silvio. Pretty good match. Lethal wins. And the main event was Kevin Steen versus Mike Bennett. Ring of Honor World Title match. Pretty good match. Steen wins. Uh, this show was just used to build towards uh, Final Battle. Is it Final Battle? Yeah, Final Battle. Okay. Because, you know, I'm going to do my predictions next. Uh, ROH Final Battle. The final pa ROH pay-per-view of the year. I'm really excited. The card is really good. I think I'm really excited for this card, especially the main event. There's a bunch of matches I'm excited for, but the main event, the whole Generico and Steen feud and their history and how it's going to be in a ladder war. It's, it's going to be awesome. So uh, let's quickly go through Ring of Honor Final Battle. Uh, if you want to know how to watch this pay-per-view, I think you go on Ring of Honor's website, and it'll cost you about 15 bucks, 14.99. And um, so I'll go through the card, and then you can make the decision whether you want to check it out. Um, first match: Mike Bennett will be taking on Jerry Lynn. This will be Jerry Lynn's retirement match. Um, since it's his, re his retirement match, I'm gonna have to go with Jerry Lynn. I don't know. What what they have planned with Mike Bennett, like he seems to be taking on all these retiring wrestlers, Lance Storm, now Jerry Lynn. Um, but I, De Jerry Lynn's got to go out. Well. He can't lose his retirement match. That'll be terrible. Um, he'll probably get beat down the whole match, and then he'll steal the victory. But uh, I don't think Mike Bennett's gonna win at all. So, 
former Ring of Honor champion Jerry Lynn gonna retire and uh, win his final match. Uh, next we got Prince Nana versus R.D. Evans. This match I don't care for too much, but it could be okay. Um, I do see. Oh fuck! What's his name? Uh, the new the new guy R.D. Evans is uh, managing. Uh, shit! What's his name? R R D Marshall, something Marshall. Uh, I don't fucking know. Anyways, Mar I expect Mar Q T Marshall. I expect him to get involved. Um, I might, I might even expect uh, Tommaso Ciampa to make a uh, return to uh, Final Battle. So that could be pretty exciting. And then they'll set up Tommaso Ciampa taking on Q T Marshall, and they'll feud for a little bit. That'd be good. So, I see that. Uh, overall winner, I'd probably go with Prince Nana. Or Ar if Tommaso doesn't return, I'll go with R.D. Evans. Um, next, we got Rhett Titus and B.J. Whitmer taking a wrestling's greatest tag team street fight match. I'm going to have to go with Rhett Titus and B.J. Whitmer. I think this could be a pretty good... This is going to be a hardcore match, so there's going to be some blood and guts. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with B.J. Whitmer and and Red Titus. I think they'll steal the victory. Um, next, we got Rhino versus Jay Lethal. This was just a match to have a match on the pay-per-view. No real story behind it. Um, as far as I know, uh, just Jay Lethal being heel um, on the Ring of Honor show that we just talked about before this, the TV show, at the end of the Bennett versus Steen match. Um Steen and, and Lethal kind of got into it, so if Steen wins at Final Battle, it seems like they'll set up a match with him and Jay Lethal, which could be pretty good. I do, I could see Jay Lethal winning that, to be honest. But um, anyways, we'll we'll build up to that. Uh, so Rhino versus Jay Lethal. I think Jay Lethal is gonna steal it. He's gonna do something heelish and uh, just take the victory because I think he will eventually get a world title match and uh, win, win the world title. Uh, next we got Bobby Fish taking on Kyle O'Reilly uh, against the, no, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly taking on the, the American Wolves, the return of Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards. Um, this was a nice little way to kind of bring in Bobby Fish. Uh, Bobby Fish, he debuted like two weeks ago and now he's already in a pr pretty high profile match. So that's pretty cool. Kind of elevate a, a talent to a mid-card level pretty fast. Um, I'm going to go with the American Wolves here. Always good to see them in tag team action. And uh, I think they're going to walk out with the victory. Uh, next we got Michael Elgin versus Roderick Strong. This feud's been building up for a long time. Uh, I think Michael Elgin is finally going to get his hands on Roderick Strong and take the victory. So I'm going to go with Michael Elgin. Uh, next, we got the Briscoes versus Scum versus Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Titles. It's going to be a three-way tag team match. I really think Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander might take this. Um, like this would be their first Ring of Honor Tag Team Title victory. But at the same time, I could see Scum stealing it. Like the Briscoes going at it with Cedric Alexander and Caprice Coleman, and then just Scum comes in and takes the victory. So, I'm going to go with Scum, but I could also see Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander winning. Um, next, for the Ring of Honor TV title, the most interesting match, um, Adam Cole will be defending his ROH TV title against Matt Hardy. Um, Matt Hardy making his return to Ring of Honor. He hasn't wrestled there in about five, seven, seven years. And... Um, uh, this could be a good match. You know, a lot of people say Adam Cole is the future of Ring of Honor. And uh, I think he's going to have a really good match with Matt Hardy. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think Matt Hardy's got to take the loss on this. Let Adam Cole win. He's a very, he's an up-and-coming guy. I don't, if if it wasn't for the title, I think maybe Matt Hardy could win. But uh, th since the title's on the line, I'm going to go with Adam Cole. But uh, I'm looking forward to this match. Just see, you know, I haven't seen Matt Hardy in action in a while. See if he can still go. He probably still can. Uh, I always thought he was the better wrestler of the Hardys, but that's just my opinion. 
And the main event, Kevin Steen vs El Generico, Ladder War for the Ring of Honor World Title. I'm very excited for this match. This is going to be a bloody, brutal match. They're going to do some crazy shits. I suggest watching some of their old Ladder War matches. Or just some of the old Ladder War matches. I, They had a match with... um. Was it the American... I think it was the American Wolves vs. Generico and Steen in the Ladder War. Um, Generico and Steen vs. the Briscoes in a Ladder War. I don't remember any other Ladder Wars, but... It's just a crazy ladder match. That's all it is. And this will be the first uh, singles one. They're usually tag team matches. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go with Kevin Steen on this one. Like I said, I think he's going to go into a program with Jay Lethal after this. But I also think there's a chance Generico can um, can win the Ring of Honor World Title. I don't think it's a big one, but there's a little there's a little chance that I think he can take home the victory and be the Ring of Honor World Champion. And uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. But overall, I'm gonna go with Kevin Steen. And yeah, this pay per view looks awesome. Like I said, I'll give you my review next week. But uh, I'm, if there's no issues with the Ring of Honor, because Usually there's a lot of technical issues with their streams. This could be a really good match. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, also this weekend, uh, we have WWE TLC. They will also be having a pay-per-view. Um, not as good as the Ring of Honor Final Battle in my opinion, but it's an okay card. Uh, first match, Wade Barrett versus Kofi Kingston for the IC title. I could see Wade Barrett winning this. Um, he's been on a roll as of late. <clears throat> I think he should have won this a long time ago, but he did win it a long time ago, actually. Whatever. I think he's going to win again. He's going to steal victory and beat Kofi and be your new IC champion. Um, next, you got Antonio Cesaro vs. R-Truth U.S. title match. Definitely think R-Truth doesn't have no... He has no chance of beating Antonio Cesaro, so I'm definitely going to go with Antonio Cesaro. Uh, next we got Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara taking on Road Scholars in a tables match. Uh, this could be a fun match. I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm gonna go with Road Scholars. I think. I think they're gonna beat. They're gonna win, and then they're actually gonna beat Team Hell No for the tag team titles, possibly at the Royal Rumble. But I think they'll actually win the title. So, I'm gonna go with Road Scholars. Because I think this is a number one contenders match. I'm not sure though. Um, next, we got Dolph Ziggler versus John Cena ladder match for the Money in the Bank briefcase. This whole feud, I've, I, I'm pretty excited for their match. They had a good match on Raw a couple weeks ago. But the whole AJ and Vicky thing, they're probably going to get involved. Not a big fan of that. Uh, I think it might actually even ruin the match, getting AJ and Vicky involved. Maybe even Tamina might come out. Uh, but I hope Ziggler wins. Like, I would really like for him to cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. I don't know when he's going to cash it in. He doesn't have much time left. He has like four or five months. Well, that's a pretty long time, actually. Whatever. Um, I was hoping to see him cash in at TLC, but, yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to see Dolph Ziggler keep his title. Uh, next, we got Sheamus taking on Big Show in a chair match for the TN or the WWE World Title. I think Sheamus might take this victory. The thing that's the, this whole feud, and then they got William Regal involved, which is kind of random. But overall, this has been an okay feud. They have pretty good matches. So I'm going to go with Sheamus to take the victory and be your new TNA World Champion. I would actually see Dolph Ziggler cashing it in. So I think Sheamus wins, but I don't think Ziggler will cash it in. And the main event is Shield. The Shield taking on Ryback and Team Hell No for the T in a TLC match. First ever six-man TLC match. Um... This is going to be a fun match. I'm excited to see Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins in action, especially uh, against Daniel Bryan. And uh, that could be really, really fun, just those interactions. I expect some crazy spots, especially, especially from Seth Rollins. Uh, he's probably going to do some crazy shit off, of, off, um, off a ladder. I'm, I'm slurring my words. I'm getting tired. I apologize. 
Um, so I definitely think the Shield's going to win. Um, they're probably going to steal the victory. They might pin Ryback. I think they'll probably pin Kane, but uh, I don't know if, if CM Punk's going to get involved either. That's another factor. Maybe Heyman might get involved or something. Um, I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see, but I'm going to go with the Shield on this one. They can't lose their first match. That'd be fucking retarded. So, overall, TLC looks interesting. You got a couple of interesting matches. I think it's going to be a good show. And uh, I'll give my review next week. So, two pay-per-views review, pay reviews next week. Um, that should be a busy-ass week for me. Um, next, we got one wrestling, one piece of wrestling news. And that is <coughs> that Ted DiBiase... Uh, this is being reported that Ted DiBiase is contemplating being done with professional wrestling. Um, he, it's being reported that he's putting out feelers and trying to transition into a career in Hollywood. To be honest, bro, <laughs> I watched The Marine 2. It was fucking terrible. So, I, I don't see movies in his future. Um, that's just me, though. But, um, to be honest, I think him and McGillicuddy would be a fucking awesome tag team. A heel tag team. You know, our fathers, you know, they had very successful careers. And, you know, we're their, their sons. And we're the fortune sons. <clears throat> and we're going to show why we belong and shit. I think this could be really good. But, I don't know why they don't team them up. I really don't. I think it could be so fucking good, but... Maybe I'm just a dreamer. Maybe I'm just crazy and I think it'd be really good and it'd be really bad. But uh, those are two guys they're not doing anything with. They're not doing anything with McGillicuddy. They're not doing anything with DiBiase. Just put them together. Nothing. It won't hurt. You try it. If it doesn't work, you know, maybe release them or something. I don't know. But uh, I think those two together would be magical. And that's my opinion. But uh, other than that, Ted DiBiase looking to be done with wrestling. Um, that sucks. I always thought he was a pretty talented dude. But, um, yeah, that's, that's whatever. Uh, he, he'll be missed, but not that missed. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll be, oh, shit, goodbye, Ted. But, um, he won't f fuck up the whole flow of uh, the shows like Raw and SmackDown, so... That's whatever. I said put him on NXT. You know what I'm saying? He's not doing anything. Just put him on NXT. Have him wrestle a few matches. Just see if he does good. Uh, other than that, that's uh, that was the weekly wrestling review. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, come back next week where we have reviews for Final Battle. Uh, TLC, Raw, SmackDown, Impact, Ring of Honor, and NXT. And a bunch more wrestling news. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Catch us next time. Peace out.